following a stint on the sidelines, Cam Hart is back refreshed and with a very strong book of drives at Clubman Angle on Saturday night, I caught up with Cam to discuss his chances. Well Cam, it's always nice to have a break and a little trip to the Gold Coast, but on your terms, not courtesy of the stewards. Yeah, that's right. Uh, probably try and plan my own holidays would be ideal, but um, you know, I've tried to make the most of uh, my time off from the races and, and got up there and had a bit of a freshen up, um, so keen to get back into it now. How was the Gold Coast? Yeah, no, it was good. Uh, the weather wasn't great. Usually the weather's quite good up there. But it was a little bit rainy a few of the days, but it's just nice to kick back and, and relax and, and freshen up. You kick off your commitments on Saturday night in the opening event, always rocking. A nice fifth here behind Red Reactor last week. Yeah, he's been um, consistent and he's always there about that old horse. He, he's sort of that sort of tough old horse that just keeps putting in um, at the races and hopefully with a good trip he should be sort of in the mix. As per usual, trainer Jason Grimson's got a very strong book of horses representing the stable and you must be very excited about taking the reins behind Chubby Checker, four from four since coming from New Zealand. Yeah, that's right. He's a really exciting horse and he's done a great job since he's been uh, in Australia and um, he's drawn a nice barrier, so I expect him to put a good show in. And, um, you know, like you said, Jace is a really good trainer and he's getting really good results at the moment. So, um, you know, I'm coming into that race quite confident. Yeah, you're f he's fresh from about a month off. And as you said, he's going to be fresh as well. Is that a concern? I don't think so. Usually Jace sort of has him ready to rock and roll um, when he's got him in. And, you know, he looks like he's a horse with above average ability, um, as his record shows. And, you know, from the draw, hopefully we can um, get a nice run there. Yeah, he's stepping up in grade a little bit, Cam, but they are looking forward to the Winter Carnival, so their expectations are high about this fella. Yeah, that's right. They've um, got a good opinion of the horse, and uh, like you said, there is probably a few harder sort of horses in, in the race on Saturday that he probably hasn't come up against yet since he's been here, but, um, you know, he's a promising type, and they've got a good opinion of him, so they, they're usually quite good judges, and um, hopefully he can put, put a good performance in. There's one thing for sure, sure and certain, Cam. There won't be a horse going around a club in England unless they night with as many owners. Yeah, that's right. There's a good group of owners behind him, and, and they've got a good syndicate going, so um, hopefully we can have a bit of joy for them. We continue the Jason Grimson theme in the third event with Yoha. Yeah, she was um, she was good first up for Jace. She ran second uh, here at Menangle, and I think she'll come from that run uh, really well. And um, you know, I haven't had a real good look at that race yet, but she's drawn about the middle of the line, I think, and hopefully she can get a good run there. And um, you know, I think when she first joined the stable a few weeks back, he, he said that she she felt well really good in in the, her work at home. So um, you know, hopefully, you know, with the right run, she'll be thereabouts. Well, Jason's worked wonders with Ray's Choice. He goes around in race four up against Cash and Flow, and he did run a very strong second to Cash and Flow a couple of starts back. And if anything, Cam, he was pinching ground off Cash and Flow the last 50. Yeah, that's right. He's um, he's sort of rejuvenated his, his racing career. That, um, Jace has with that horse, and he was super. Um, you know, his runs to date here, and um, you know, hopefully with a bit of luck and, and a good run, he'll be uh, hitting the line again. The consolation for the Australian Pacing Gold Phillies is race eight on the card, number six Marmite, once again for Jason, a very consistent performer. Yeah, she's been really consistent, and. This week, with a few of the better ones going into the big final at Melton, she's probably, um, you know, stepping up to one of the, the main chances in that race, I would say. She's been just behind those good ones, running, you know, nice thirds and fourths uh, in the heats with some of those smart types. So hopefully with a few of them out of the race this Saturday, I think she'll be a really good show. Over to the last, which is set aside for the uh, trotters and nicely drawn on the front line is so Bomba. A little bit hit and miss from the stand, but if he does step away, it certainly right up to this... Yeah, that's right. He, um, he can be a little hit and miss, but, um, you know, whenever I've, I've driven him at the stand, he, he's sort of gotten away okay, and hopefully um, with good manners, he'll be thereabouts. He's always a horse that puts in and tries hard, and, and he can run a race when he uh, puts it all together. Yeah, and saying that about some bomba, probably two-thirds of the field are set in the same category. Yeah, that's right. It's uh, quite an even race, so it's just going to come down to probably the trotters' manners and, um, you know, where everyone ends up in the run, so... Um, yeah, hopefully uh, we can get a good trip and he'll be thereabouts. Well, you're refreshed. You're back in action on Saturday night. Which one do you think is going to be the Cam Hart special? I think Chubby Checker. I really like the draw and he's a horse with plenty of promise. Um, so, you know, I'm thinking he's going to be a really good show. And, and Ma Mitter, uh, like I said, he, she's um, sort of got rid of a few of those nicer fillies down in the main final and she's um, probably a good show there as well. And well done on the big win at Wagga last Sunday night. A great night's racing there at Wagga. Yeah, it's great. It's always good when, um, you know, with these uh, regional finals, uh, all the areas around New South Wales get a good go at the, the money because, you 
you know, plenty of good trainers and drivers um, throughout all the regions. So uh, it was great racing um, down there at Wagga and lucky enough to, to get a win on my first drive back for my uncle. And I, I just really enjoy getting down there, which is where it all started for me. So um, that was really great. Well, Kim, you've got an upcoming driving commitment as always. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Cheers.